So today we're going to be learning about scientific notation. What you'll be learning in this unit is how to write a given whole number or a given decimal in scientific notation and how to write a given number in scientific notation as a whole number or as a decimal number as appropriate. Now, as you guys can see, I have this written right here, must be between one and 10. I will explain that further, so just don't mind that for now. But basically, right now, um, we're gonna talk about scientific notation and um, kind of why scientific notation is important when it comes to math is because um, a lot of the times when we have very outlandish numbers, like very, very big numbers, for example, like this one's not that big, but I mean, this is 7,710,000. Sometimes we, in math, we get really, really big numbers and scientific notation is just a way that we can rewrite those numbers without having to write out all the numbers, like if, if that makes sense. So I'll try to explain this a little bit more right now, but so, this is basically a standard standard notation for scientific notation. It's just that it's usually written like this. It has a number and it's being multiplied by 10 to the power of something. So this, this 10 will never change whenever you see a scientific notation problem. It will always have a number being multiplied by 10 to a certain power. So for example, this one's 10 to the fourth. This one's 10 to the negative fourth. This one's 10 to the fifth. Now, one of the things that we need to keep in mind when we're talking about scientific notation is um, how to actually compute these um, equations. So one of the important things that we need to understand also is whenever we have um, scientific notation written in this format, it wants you to, this is scientific notation. So when it's asking you in this format, you're going to write, your answer is going to be written in a decimal. And when you have a decimal, so vice versa, when you have a decimal, it's going to want you to write the answer in this format. So in this case, it's giving us a scientific notation format. So we have to write this into a decimal. And it's important to, this is where that whole um, must be between one and 10 thing comes, comes into play. Because um, when we're writing the decimals, the decimals that we get that we end up multiplying by 10 to the, to, to the power of something, the number that we're multiplying that by has to be between one and 10. I don't know who came up with this. I didn't come up with this, but I mean, that's just how it is. It always has to be between one and 10. And we'll see what that means in a little bit. So for example, here, this is, this is saying one times 10 to the fourth. So the way that we would write this would be, let's see. Over here, shoot, okay. One times 10 to the fourth power. So when we see that it says one times 10 to the fourth power, it wants us to move. We're gonna pretend that there is uh, an, imaginary, um, an imaginary decimal point right here after the one, right here. Um, and what it wants us to do is basically move this decimal place over four times to the right. So we'll do this, we'll do one. And again, like I said, let's say we have this imaginary decimal point right here. This four wants us to move it over four times. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Now this is just something I like to do because it helps me kind of just like visualize it more. But this is all that this is asking of us. And any, any spot where you see a little dip like this, is where a zero is gonna go into. So a zero goes into here, a zero goes into here, a zero goes into here, and a zero goes into here. I'm sorry about my zeros, um, they're really ugly, but it'll have to do for now. Um, so basically, this is gonna be your final answer. It's gonna be 10,000, because all it was asking you to do is to move the decimal place over four times. Now in this next example, it's gonna be a little bit different. So right here we have, Let's see, we have two times 10 to the negative fourth power. So in this case, when we went to the right, because it was asking us for a positive four, in this case, we're actually gonna go to the left because it's asking us for negative. So again, we're gonna pretend there's a little invisible decimal point to the right of this, and we're gonna move it over four times to the left. So one, two, three, four, okay? 
And like I said before, in each of these little dips, we're going to put a zero. Zero, zero, zero. And I'm trying my best here with these zeros. I'm sorry about that. So then that would be our final answer. Our final answer would be 0 0.0002 because we moved the decimal place over four times. Okay. And for this last example, we have three times 10 to the to, sorry, sorry, to the positive five, to the positive fifth. So like I said before, we're gonna pretend that there is a invisible decimal point after the three, and we're gonna move this over five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And in each of these little dips, we're gonna have a zero. Zero, 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 one more zero. All right, perfect. And then that would mean that our final answer would be 300,000, okay? And now this, these examples on the right side is where this must be between one and 10 comes into play. Um, and this is basically we're kind of just reverse engineering what we did over here. So over here was asking us to put it into uh, a decimal form. And in this case over here, we're gonna be putting it into scientific notation form. So like I said before, it has these numbers, they have to be between one and 10. So for all of these, we're gonna pretend that there's a little decimal point on the furthest right, okay? Because we're gonna be moving this decimal point over. So in this case, all of our scientific notations will be written with a negative exponent because we're going to the left, okay? So we're gonna, how many places? So since it has to be between one and 10, we're gonna move the decimal place over until we have a number that is between one and 10. So we're gonna move this over one time. 77.1 is not between one and 10, so we're gonna have to move it over one more time. So 7.71 is between 10. So we're gonna have to, how many times did we, did we move it over? We moved it over two times. So the way we're gonna write this is 7.71 times 10 to the power of how many times we moved it to the left or to the right. In this case, we moved it to the left. So it was gonna be 7.71 times 10 to the negative second power, okay? For this second one over here, we have 77,100. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move the decimal place over until we have a number between one and 10. Move it over once, don't have that twice, three times until the fourth time we have again, 7.71. So this one, we moved it over four times. So we have 7.71 times 10 to the negative fourth power. For this last one, we see that we have to move it over one, two, three, four, five, six, until we get a number that's between one and 10. So we have to move that over six times so our answer will be 7.71 times 10 to the negative sixth power. 